Today I'm going to talk about breast biopsies and specifically for breast cancer. So breast cancer biopsy. So here's a breast and most breast cancers are either found by imaging, mammogram, uh, ult ultrasound, occasionally by a patient feeling a mass. So on a mammogram or an ultrasound, usually a breast cancer is a mass. Sometimes there's calcium associated with that mass. And uh, when we see something suspicious, a radiologist may recommend a biopsy. And the way that's typically done is by putting the patient in a mammogram machine or an ultrasound can guide a needle into the lesion to be biopsied. Rarely do we use an MRI to actually guide the needle, but that occasionally is needed if it does not show up on a mammogram or an ultrasound. So uh, when a mammogram is used, they use a large needle that actually removes a core of tissue from the mass. And this piece of tissue is examined by a pathologist. And after the biopsy is done, a small metal clip is left in the area of the biopsy. So the, uh, the tissue that is examined is really looked at for several different things. First of all, we want to know the type of breast cancer. The main types of breast cancer are either lobular or ductal. So the breast is designed for milk production and the milk produced in a part of the breast called a lobule and it travels to the nipple in a tube called the duct. About 80% of breast cancers come from the cells that line the ducts, so we call them ductal breast cancer. Uh, about 20% of breast cancers come from the lobule, so we call them lobular breast cancer. So the type is important, ductal versus lobular. And if you look at a breast cancer cell under a microscope, this is a cell, there's really three markers that we care about on the surface of the cell. And these markers are receptors, so they uh, pick up uh, chemicals or hormones in the body and they signal the cell to have certain behaviors. Um, one that we obviously want to check for is estrogen. Estrogen receptors means that the breast cancer cells are stimulated by estrogen. A similar hormone is progesterone. If there's a lot of estrogen and progesterone receptors on a breast cancer cell, they are hormone sensitive. And the last is a gene called HER2NU. HER2NU is a growth factor receptor, meaning that if there's a lot of these receptors on a cell, that they are stimulated to grow, and uh, there's certain medications we can use to target that. So estrogen, progesterone, and HER2NU are three important markers on the actual breast cancer cell itself. Typically, we give the strength of the estrogen and progesterone receptors as a 1 to 100 percent ratio. It's uh, typically good to have a high number of estrogen and progesterone receptors, so closer to 100 uh, percent. That means that uh, we can uh, block hormone, th uh, hormone production in the body to help treat the breast cancer. HER2NU is tested really one of two ways, either by um, staining directly on the cells, which is called immunostaining, <coughs> or IHC, immunohistochemical staining. And the other way is FISH, which is an uh, acronym for fluorescence in situ hybridization. So the um, HER2NU gene is a little harder to test for. So those are the things that we look at uh, on the biopsy that help distinguish uh, one breast cancer type from another. Um, another marker that uh, is useful to most uh, breast cancer doctors is a KI67 percentage. And this is good to be low. So we want to see this in the single digit numbers, teens, something like that. Um, if this if this KI67 percentage is a high number, that can signify that there's a lot of division of cells, which uh, is a rapidly growing tumor and can be more aggressive. So when you see your cancer doctor after your initial breast biopsy showing breast cancer, some good questions to ask would be, um, is there a clip placed after the biopsy and is the clip in a good position? Uh, the 
tumor markers are important. You'd want to know is there estrogen and progesterone markers? Are they strong? Is the number close to 100? And you'd want to know if the HER2 nu is there. Is it really it's positive or negative? Um, there's not really a, a in between on those. It's either there or it's not. <clears throat> and you might want to know things like the overall aggression of the tumor based on markers like the KI67. Uh, you probably should also ask if there's any discrepancy between what was seen on the imaging and what the biopsy showed because if there is something that looks very dangerous but the biopsy maybe shows not cancer cells then that might be a discrepancy between the imaging and the biopsy and maybe a repeat biopsy or some sort of repeat imaging should be done. The decision to do additional imaging is typically up to the treating doctors but uh, is based on a lot of factors such as how dense the breast tissue is or um, if there's some suspicion of other bad things in the breast that maybe another test might um, help show better. So that's a brief introduction to what we should look for on the breast cancer biopsy. I hope that helps.